side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. The Ducks, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. He's to the 40. And they push him out at about the 49. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Quick out to his receiver. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game, or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Wants to go long and done. Incomplete, almost picked off. You know, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. He's tackled at the 49. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. That makes us a He's going to try to cough and corner this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll work the left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Gets rid of it. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. They come out in a five-wide set. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Big opening. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Five wide. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Just throws this one away. And here's another third down. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. This kind of execution from the offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. We got a flag down on the offside. field. Might have been offsides. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys off sides. And he hit 
Hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball in 34. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Washington's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, it seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Tackle around the 44-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires incomplete. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Throw incomplete one of his receiver. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll bring him down at the 48. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. to about the 37-yard line. Defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and it gives them a long field to work with. 
Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Washington up seven points. Gets to about the five-yard line. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-0, Husky. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He gets out to about the six-yard line. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 43 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. After a decent run up the gut. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Washington is up seven. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's under pressure. Stepping up. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. Play is number eight on the drive. 
Washington is up a score. They go back to him. He's got room. Inside the 10. Makes it out to about the 7. their halfback in the passing game and he got into the end zone. Well, they know they can go to him in the red zone and he'll make some things happen for them. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 84-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Oregon's coaching staff, I've got to think, going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running back just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to really put points on This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gets out to around the 48. Looks middle, got his back. They'll get him for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Washington's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Goes to the receiver and he's got it again. Still on his feet. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Fires up to his receiver. Out of bounds at the 19.
from the 19 yard line. First down. Up the middle. Good outside run there. The Huskies will use their first time out of the half. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. He makes it to the six-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle made at the four. there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. The Huskies lead it by 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The deficit is huge probably insurmountable, but there is probably one very sage piece of advice that the coach can give his team at halftime. Gentlemen, don't get hurt out there in the second <laughs> half. Protect yourselves. Hey, you uh, over there with the chin strap, buckle that thing up because you might be playing. It, it's get, That's how bad this one's getting. That you, uh, you might have seen some numbers out there. What? Who's that guy? I don't, I don't even know who that guy is. I, I didn't know he was on the team. This one's getting that lopsided. Let's protect the guys, keep them a little bit safe, and uh, better luck next week, boys. Play the second half with a running clock. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He 
gets out to about the 48-yard line. Ball on the 41. He's hit and taken down. Scrambling around. He's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings up second and goal. That's a great tackle at the six. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's got it. Washington kicked this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21. Washington's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. the stop at the 31. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That's a team that's going to the way. That makes it first and 10. Here's a handoff, left side. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And 
And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. Washington's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into a position and being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. And he hits him hard at the 29. Slings it. And he's leveled at the 36 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. He fights forward to about the 39. Tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From their own 37 yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. There's the strike complete, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's immediately tackled. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 31-yard line. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. Washington's got a 13-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and two. He scrambled. And down he goes to the 38 yard line. Two players, two players. about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws and it's incomplete. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Catches it, and that's all. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, 
That's fun to see. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Right down around the 45-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Number 66 on the tackle at the 46-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 46. Just under three to go in regulation. run up the gut. kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. We have two minutes left to play in this game. his way to the 10 yard line nothing tentative on that run at all he looked very determined and got the first down and this is the ninth play of the current drive he makes it out to maybe the seven yard line from the seven yard line second down Around the six yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Under a minute left in the game. On the run. And he's taken down at the five yard line. That should do it. Our final tally in this one, 20 to seven, Husky. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, I think these guys came out here today and showed that they are for real. Oregon really has to be discouraged about losing a game they probably should have won. You can bet their coach will have a nice long talk with his players after this performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.